missed it. I missed my cue there to blooming change the screen. You'd think I'd be up to speed at doing this by now, wouldn't you? You'd think I'd be up to speed. Anyway, good morning, folks. Nice to see you. Oh, dear. I'm getting a wee message here saying that YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. So apologies if things are not smooth. Doesn't tend to do that very often. Let's see what Streamlabs is saying. Uh, where did I get? Open performance window. Oh, well. Streamlabs seems happy, but... YouTube is saying stuff, but good morning to you all folks, thank you for joining me this morning for some daily racing around Watkins Glen in Group 3. We're in the Lexus from 2016, nice to see so many people in the chat nice and early. We've got Kai, we've got TMK, we've got Nabotha, he's got some meetings he's going to pop in after. Hugo is here, Steve Bruce, Steve Bruce, he's a Man United defender, Steve Boer is here as well, Kiefsky Demo. Nice to see you all. Yeah, it's just, uh, there's a wee, on my kind of preview screen, keeps going, there's a message pop up here. Sometimes it says it for audio. Uh, hopefully it doesn't become a problem. I did notice when I kind of went from hitting the live button to actually, you hit, you hit the live button on Streamlabs and then you go into YouTube and you have to hit the live button there. I did notice it seemed to take an awful long time between the two stages, so a little bit longer than normal, so... Uh, pretty decent lobby for this time in the morning though. Some fast drivers, Zapes fast, Ramsters in. We got TSL up at the front. Not seen the finished driver for a while, he's a fast driver. Road is here, Cheesy's here as well, DJ Olive. Yeah, pretty decent lobby. Pretty decent lobby. Yeah, sorry Steve, yeah. He was a Man United a defender for Man United back in the nineties, so he was. He was a hard man. He was a hard, hard man. I'm getting ready to wombo as instructed. Yeah, thanks for popping in, everybody. Let's see what we can do from the back in the first one. I want to test this car and see what its, it's tyre wear is like, because its tyre wear was really good uh, last week at... What do you call it? Dragon Trail Guard. Sorry, Dragon Trail Seaside in reverse. So, I'm not sure how competitive it will be, but we'll soon find out. Morning to you, Tonic, how you doing? Now the Vidic of the day we break your leg off. Did they play for Norwich as well, Steve? And that's your team. There you go. Fusion, wait that so as well. Welcome along everyone. So yeah, as I said, I want to test this car for the tyre. It's a lovely car to drive. Such a nice car to drive. I just don't know how competitive it's going to be in terms of lap times. The RCZ seems to be quite good. A lot of people have been using that recently, haven't they? Seems to have uh, had a new lease of life since the update, which is nice. I used to despise that car at the beginning of GT7. It was just so good. It was like it was like in the early Gran Turismo 7, the RCZ was easy mode, so it was. So when cars were a little bit sketchy on the throttle, the RCZ, it was like it had traction control on five, so it did. It just rattled the throttle out of the corners and it did absolutely nothing.
Phase 14, how you doing? Carpin as well. Good to see you, Carpin. Oh, that was a. Uh, that was me not uh, doing gear changes fusion because I was changing something on the, the stream. <laughs> I was coming off the throttle because I didn't want to hit the limiter. So it was uh, not a very good acceleration here, to be fair. It's definitely lacking a bit up the, up the hill, isn't it? This is a tough race though. Everyone's got really, really good pace. Faster than that. There's a left behind here, this could be a genuine last place. I blame the car. Ah, somebody's off. Oh, it's Rory. Rory's binned it. Maybe not last it. Technically not last. We are now officially last of the runners, but... Last the last challenge, successful. It's the way I do it, Hugo, it's the way I do it. I can still see other drivers, we've stopped the races a little bit. Ceremoniously punted by the looks of it. Nobody wants the honour of being last, everybody's quitting. BTR, welcome to the stream, by the way. Just raced Kimmy Velocini at Nurburgring. Up to his usual shenanigans, was it? Okay, so this car's slow because I can do 47 zeros in the FT1. Other one's off. They've left as well. Come on, folks. Stay in the race so I can not be last for just a wee bit. Maybe this car will come into its own at the end of the tyre wear. Oh, Prime Minister's last now. Ha! <laughs> 
You know, the ones left, they're all leaving. Uh, I made up four positions by not even overtaking a car. You doing there, Red Devil? Yeah, it's out. Good, uh, good race, Torrent. Uh, unfortunately, you're missing it. Let's try to get this thing into 47s at least. We need to get somewhere to go to 47s if we're going to. Yeah, we'll do 47s by cutting the chicane and getting penalties, but I think we might have got away with it. Fair to nine people I'm watching. Thank you very much for your company, folks. I picked a bit of a slow ass car. Oh, two seconds for Savlo. I wonder if this is maybe a short shift of this car. That's a bit weird, Mitsu. That is a bit weird. I wonder what the story is there. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Stuart. Tell me that RCZ, no slouch in a straight line. Maybe that's just a rubbish, though. Calm, nice to see you out. Something happened to his family, I hope, hope everything's okay. I think it was a bit strange for Rory to quit, to be honest with you. He doesn't normally quit races, does he? So. How you doing, Bembo? Nice to see you. Hopefully it's nothing too serious and he's back in the chair tomorrow. And I'm just these last these three are fighting and I'm just barely keeping with them. Ivy's not even good on this either. Look at that front left. I 
was maybe my joker was the tie wear on this, but uh, not so good on this car at the moment. Bembo. Here, here. I was in the wrong gear. Mobile Shikane, welcome to the stream. Oh. Yeah, I just wondered if somebody mentioned that he'd, uh, something had happened. TMC. I've got no pace whatsoever in this car, folks. I can do 47 zeros in the FT1, so... Oh. The RCZ teammates have taken each other out by the looks of it. Looks like the Spanish driver took out the other one and waited. convinced I'm going to have any tyres left at the end of this. This tyre was really good at Dragon Trail as well. Just goes to show, sometimes it's not the car, you know. You can't just say a blanket statement for a car being good on tyres, it's going to quite often be the, the combination. using this car again. In the top 8 now. We've not done a thing in this race and we went from P16 to P8. I can't believe there's only 10 people still running. Good evening, Cole. Nice to see you. Well, that's about how much tyre wear I've got left at the end of the race in the FT1. This thing does not like this track. Is it the guy in front's also suffering with tyre wear? We could start off with a P1 boat. Oh, I'll get the car around the corners. Is that a Supra or a Porsche? It looks more like a Porsche to me. That is a Porsche, yeah. You didn't have Flash, nice to see you. Welcome along everyone, nice to have you in the chat. Or lurking. All good. Uh, 
This guy's definitely struggling. Right, Lexus prototype versus Porsche. <laughs> we don't have a lot of grunt, do we? We definitely don't have a lot of grunt. Come on, Lexus. That was pretty pathetic in the Lexus, wasn't it? I think we know where we're losing the lap time then. If I'd been in the Supra there, I could have overtook him. Let him back past then, overtook him again before the chicane. Enough tire just about to get to the end at the very least. Let's try again. I don't think we can tell from the previous lap, it's going to make a blind bit of difference, but. Oh, made a mistake. Oh, made a mistake myself. Come on, Nico. Make a wee mistake. The crowd want a P7 to start off with. <laughs> Pretty much, you go. Okay, so don't use the booming, uh, don't use the 2016 Lexus folks, it's not good on tyres like I thought it might be. Still, we managed a P8 from doing absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. It's not a terrible start. TSL and P2 Jack and P3, 47 people in watching, thank you for your company. Let's see if we can do it a little bit better. We'll be a, we'll be a little bit more competitive in the next one. We'll use the FT1.
You could take six green and second and third gear corners and the super would still be faster, yeah. Oh, is that right, Fusion? Ah, P1 were unsubbed. Sorry, Demo. I tried. I tried. It, was, it wasn't my fault. It was the lack of ponies. <laughs> Not too bad, was it, really, in the end, given that we were so uncompetitive to get a P... A P8. Are you from Brisbane, Australia, TMC? I've got family in Brisbane, so I do it. I've got family there. wonder how the Jag is in tyres. I'll definitely try it at some point, Bembo. I'm going to use the uh, the FT1 for the next one. Wombo Science established the Lexus is rubbish. It was good in... Uh, you just never know then, do you? Because it was good in... Good on tyre wear in the, the race last week. Ah, cheers, Cam. Nice of you to say. Nice of you to say, mate. Apology if anybody's came in and I've missed you. If you came in and said hello in the chat and I've not said hello back, I do apologise. Those people say, oh jeez, oh, I've been chatting away, I've missed a lot of stuff, so I have. Well, wait till you see my tyre wear on the FT1 Fusion. Wait you see how much tyre's left on the FT1 at the end of the race. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you was meant to rev the nuts off it or... Or short shift. I was kind of just experimenting with that car. It's not a car you see anybody ever using, so... But it definitely needs some horsepower. I think we established that we are in the slipstream of the... The slipstream of the Porsche, because that was pathetic up the hill, wasn't it? It was absolutely pathetic. I'm surprised, Flash, that there's not more people spinning out. I thought there'd be people spinning out left, right and centre at like this one. I really did. the next one. It's going to be a bit more competitive. I actually get some racing with people. It's a great line. It's a great line. Oh! I wonder how far down the track you can get. Chat up to you doing there, Sparks. Nice to see you. GT Dallas as well. Welcome to stream TSL. How you doing, mate? Congratulations and me getting some very very solid results this week. TSL. So I've seen Charlie Bubbles is in the chat as well. Nice to see you and Jay. Thank you everyone for popping in. Nice to see you. All. What's the 458 like on tyres? Uh, as much as the MRs are sort of definitely easier to drive, they are pretty hefty on rear tyre wear. And then they become oversteady beasts, so I think that's why you'll see a lot of people sticking uh, or staying away from most of the MR cars this week.
I enjoyed uh, watching your podcast with Chunky and Ibina Sparks, by the way. It was entertaining. I did enjoy watching that. He's had me laughing. The twos were quite, quite funny. Yeah, I don't fancy the markers like Ferrari, the Audi or the Lamborghini into the hairpin, uh, not the hairpin, the, the chicane either. Right, what we got here, Flash is in for a race, TSL's back, Ramster's back, we're on P15 for this one. Good luck anybody racing, have a good one. That RSO one's pretty quick as well. I've seen the who somebody was behind me in that RSO one. I'm surprised how good it was. I think it's up there in the leaderboard as well, isn't it? He's looking for some bigger streamers. I'm like, I'm not big either, Sparks. I do okay. I do okay. I'm more than happy. But uh, Dergview eighty six. Good morning to you. To see it. Yeah, we definitely need brake balance for the daily races. Definitely. So you can work on that tyre wear with it. 100%. And we know they can do it, so who knows why. By the way, you don't need to heat your tyres up for this one. For whatever reason, the tyres start at temperature on this one, compared to last week. Don't ask me why. Yeah, I don't know why we've got it in Manu and not got it in the dailies, Hugo. Seems like an odd oversight. Bit of a ding dong going up there, they're free wide. Again, disaster for somebody, isn't it? Good there, Rapid. Nice to see you. I don't know what's going on there. Hamster was involved. Oh, there's like an accident. There's apologies going on in the chat. I see Nico. I've got a few more horses in this one, so I do it. Oh, you 
Tudo pra cá. We need to get past Nico because we, we know we're faster. I have no idea rapid why that is, it kind of flunks me as well. I do know that PD, when they set the races up, if you've ever seen the secret menu that PD used to do daily races then, there is an option for them to set the tyre temperature. I can't remember the name of the guy that's got the video, but there's a video out there where it shows you the, uh, the secret menu. Pedestrian, this isn't it? Spiral with a five second penalty. I've seen him having a lot of bad luck. Dragon Trail reverse. I'm not going to lie. This is what happens though when you start last. Kiefsky, thank you very much for the gifted membership. Let's see who the lucky recipient was. Arguably lucky. But, uh, thank you very much for that, Keep Skate. Appreciate it. Right. One Nico. Did you not buy that I was just in front of you and I wasn't on your arse area the whole time? I'm cheeky in this one, I'm cheeky in it. Thank you. Nico. The P10. Past our uh, super is not going to be quite so simple though. Well, I guess it's not so secret. <laughs> it's, uh, I guess, call it a secret menu, I guess, is silly. Looks like the kind of menus that we have for setting up lobbies only with a lot more options. But within there, they can set tyre temperatures, they can set the track temperature, they can set how wet the track is.
shed or the understeer behind it. Bloody super there. Halte, welcome to the stream. Arkies as well, thank you for coming in. Remember the name of the guy. He's got, guy's got a YouTube channel. He's got loads of interesting videos on his channel. Is it Vanilla? His name is or something like that. He shows you a race around the, the Nordschleife in Group Three cars in wet conditions with uh, thirty cars on the track as well. slammed in my face. Hey dude Sam, good to see you there. Going to be able to do anything here. I'm like, is in the slip you can get. I may have to kind of force the issue here. I don't think it's going to make any difference though. Yeah, I can't be forced it from there, Cara. Yeah, just got there anyway. I could see the corner. I might say I qualifying after this one. Because we'll just be lose the kind of we're halfway through the race and we've completely lost the group in front of these two cars, so Sales had it off. There's just no way I can get past this thing unless I really just launch it down the inside of a corner. And have to get I have to maybe get a little bit rough here, I think. The moment an opportunity presents itself, we're just going to launch it. Within reason, of course. No, I'm not going to take it out or do anything super stupid, but...
eight. Somebody's there. Uh, Guy ahead of me is having his first week of his track, new guy, he seems a nice guy, no worries Arkeys. Yeah, he's driving, I mean he's, he's doing everything right to be fair to him, he's keeping the car on the apex, he's in... Maybe he's got the power to defend on the streets, he's doing absolutely everything he should be doing. W is wide. This could be an opportunity to take both of them. Take none of them. Just lose loads of time. Hey, doing your car, how? Cost there us big time though. Break quite early though. Well, solves a problem for me, but I'm unf unlucky for that guy. The thing is, we've lost so much time when I get Ramster and Alk behind us. We're not slow drivers. Typical into that, you know, I spend four laps trying to get past that guy and then these two just turn up and... Yeah, freebie! A BMW's bloody fast in the streets as well, isn't it? Definitely faster than us. I could just rave out in fifth gear. Oh, that was a bit naughty, wasn't it? He just chopped across there, knowing I was going to go for the move. I like Ramster decision making sometimes. That's no spoken Ramster. Don't do that, please. Is Dead Dave, or somebody's just gifted five memberships? I think I've missed that. I think it was. 
Possibly dead, Dave. Thank you very much, whoever it was. I'll check that out in a second. Oh, the understeer. Everybody's getting it. It was dead, Dave. Thank you very much, Dave. Support the channel once again. Okay. Nice to edit the Apex this time. Give this guy the slipstream. Not that much though. Ramster, but Ramster's through already, which is not good for me. Good racing though, good racing. Going the long way, Ramster. <laughs> Good racing, mate. Good racing. My mistake, that one, unfortunately. In the stars, it was to be a P7, folks. It was to be a P7. 90 people watching now. Thank you very much for your company, folks. If you've come into the chat and have not said hello, I do apologise. I've been concentrating on this race quite hard. See Scampy Fries is in. Welcome along, Scampy. Shame we lost the place to Ramster. I knew I had to go on the throttle dead early out in this corner because the BMW is deadly. Out of there. Too much oversteer. He's not going to get enough of a pair of it. At least he really makes a mess of this corner. Ooh, he's lucky. <laughs> we wanted P7 anyway, we wanted P7. Thank you very much for your company, folks. Nice to see you all in the stream and in the chat. As I said, if I've missed anybody coming in, I do apologise. MCA for president, welcome along. I missed you coming in, Dead Dave. Thank you very much once again for the five gifted memberships. Fusion Techno, Phase 14 Fusion and Uncle Pom Pom were the recipients. And Keefski with the gifted membership earlier on, if I can find it. Oh, Arkeys, kind of five months Arkeys. Thank you very much for the five months. And Hugo got the gifted membership from Kiefsky. So, thank you very much, folks. Truly appreciated.
Nice race though, nice race, I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed that race a lot. Yeah, you'll probably stop not there anymore, Stuart, but uh, thanks for popping in, and we'll catch you on the next one, hopefully. Jack Hassan, how you doing? David as well, welcome to the stream, David. The vantage is not too slow on the streets, though. <laughs> the super behind me got a 30 second penalty. I think that's worth a watch, isn't it? I think that'll be worth a wee watch. <laughs> uh, everybody's going anyway. Everybody's going. Did anybody say anything? I just ignored them like a bad Gran Turismo player. Where did Flash come? Flash brought it home in P3. Nice job, mate. Nice job. Your pace isn't that bad. Your pace isn't that bad, Flash. That's a good finishing time. 21.35 is definitely not to be sniffed at. Am I streaming all day? Probably not all day. One o'clock, two o'clock maybe. I usually do about three hours holty. Sometimes if I'm feeling feeling the racing's good I go a wee bit longer but... Yeah, I'm not one of these people. I can't sit for six, seven hours streaming, I'm afraid. Just... TSL put him, so we, we've seen one as well. I don't think he made it into the pit lane though. Oh, is it right? Yeah, we did actually see TSL pitting, no flash. I did wonder. <laughs> we'll go and take a look at that. Oh, you say that, Flash, right? And I bet I go and look at your lap times and you're doing 46s or something. Yeah, just, just chilling there, not pushing me a 46 free Flash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terrible lap times. Terrible lap times, you know. Yeah, right, where is TSL? Let's see if we can find them. <laughs> I mean, you've got to laugh, haven't you? You doing there, Snake55? Welcome to the stream. Clyde as well, welcome along, nice to see you. That's a good effort, TSL. I'm quite impressed with that one. Quite impressed with that. Yeah, exactly. Rapping's right. Stop sandbagging. There's, there's only one thing worse than a fast driver, and that's a fast driver saying they're not fast. I'm jesting, I'm jesting. You definitely underestimate your pace though, Flash. You definitely underestimate your pace. Burst into the wall. Who did they get the other fair to say? Yeah, not so good. Right, better make sure we get into the next one, eh? Scott Dobson, welcome to the stream. Uh, who else has popped in? I've seen a couple of other names. Timmy Timmy as well, nice to see you, Timmy, as always. Dorky Panda, welcome along as well. Right, I need to go for a pee, folks. Anybody new to the stream, I go for I go to the toilet quite a lot, but this is my first one of the stream, which is an hour into it, which is not too bad for me. But we'll be back in a wee minute.
And we're back. Of course we'll make it back, Timmy. Of course we'll make it back. We always make it back. I know I seen you do a uh, seen you do a twenty four yesterday, TSL. You were absolutely flying. You did a forty six zero. No worries, Arkies. I no idea what the five second wall penalties are all about. It's obviously I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, TMK's in front of us. Welcome to the race, TMK. Morgs as well, welcome to the stream. You struggle with this course, Snake? Yeah. It's got a couple of very tricky corners where you've got to be really... Uh, You've got to be very confident on the throttle at this track. And there's a lot of corners where it's quite easy to spin out, so if you lose that confidence, you will lose a lot of lap time. TMK and McLaren. in the wall early. Forty of like to go there. It's just the MK. Like a recipe for disaster up here. I summed it. We've negotiated that pretty well. I'm glad that Supra made a mess of that corner behind me because I made a mess of it as well. Yeah, TMK is possibly streaming, yeah. Oh, it was close to the barrier. That's what you want to be. He absolutely flew for how did he do that? That was ridiculous. Friend again. Steve, what are you doing, mate? Thank you. 
Well, it went too fast for the chicane this time. <laughs> Cloudy here if you go in. Does downshift wear out your tyres? Well, there's definitely a theory from some people that that's the case. I'm not convinced it's true, but. It's definitely something I've heard people mention, though. This is a problem. So I'm like stuck behind a Supra and I've got a Supra behind me, so... Jamie Robertson, welcome to the stream. It was very slow through there. Send this here and just park it in the apex. It might be silly, but screw it. Up. Oh, yeah. Are these supers? Ruins the game. Car ruins the game. Stupid. Oh, well done, mate. Didn't mean it, but... himself again. Another French driver. Calstar, how you doing mate? Good to see you. Let's 
Zit me hier ergens weer, hoeveel ballen hoor. Welcome along everyone to the stream. My name is popped in recently and I've missed you coming in, I do apologise. Too busy ranting and raving about bloody supers. Yeah, this guy's got a wee bit more pace now that obviously when I'm not on his backside he seems a bit more confident but to Maverick on P1. Definitely qualifying for the next one, folks. Can I be doing me getting stuck behind Supras? He has improved his pace, this driver, to be fair. David Simi with the $20 donation. Thank you very much, mate. Something that's like that. Australian dollars, is it? Highly irregular contribution. Thank you very much, Timmy. Very much appreciated. Very kind. Struggle. 
are struggling to get close as well. It's like the track's got very ungrippy all of a sudden. I know the tyres are wearing down, but there's definitely more understeer. in this hole now. I'll try the F-type for the next one, Bembo. I'm curious to see what that's like myself. A procession, isn't it? Bit of a procession. We are catching these other two cars up front. We have a five car battle very soon. I think that's super as tyres are going. To be honest though, this is what racing should be like. You shouldn't be uh... Overtaking should not be easy, let's be honest. It's not easy in real life. I don't think overtaking should be easy. Definitely going. Think about that, Al. Don't even think about that. You're not close enough for a move. You've hit me. That's the 
that's it. Just you turn up and start poking noises in by there. Don't poke noises. For stupid overtakes, you'll get stupid results. There's still potential for another result here. They're fighting up there. Just a frustrating race, you're just stuck behind Supras and <laughs> we ended up with a P7, I don't know how Fla <laughs> Flash has got a 13 second penalty, so we got P7. <laughs> <laughs> oh no Flash, what did you do mate? What did you do? Enjoy the painting Steve-O, thank you for coming in. Yeah, we've all been getting five second penalties BTR, we've all been getting this, uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a pain, that's what it is, it's a bit of a pain. But yeah, Flash, you look on the bright side, you kind of promoted me up to my natural position. Limebus, how you doing? Good to see you. 75 likes by the way folks, thank you very much to everyone that's hit that like button. We don't often get over 50 likes that often. Well, actually, more, in more recent months, we have been getting over 50 likes on stream, but you know, that's, a, that's a big number of likes for me after an hour and a half. So thank you very much for everyone that's taking the time. Hey... Hard to keep up with the chat in this one, folks. I do apologise that I'm not keeping up quite as much as I'd like to, but... Yeah, Flash sacrificed himself for the P7. You know what it means, though? I mean, he's kind of... That sacrifice will do him so much good going forward. He'll win the next race now, what do you see? He'll definitely win the next race. I'm going to have to go and take a look at it, though, Flash. <laughs> Where did TMK come? Then P12. You went too far off, TMK. You went too far off in the fight anyway. A lot of people seem to be quite enjoying that McLaren, so they do. Yeah, that, that's it, uh, David, yeah. He, sa he didn't sacrifice himself, he sacrificed a Supra. Let's go and see what happened to you.
<laughs> all be convinced it was an accident. Did somebody upset you, Flash, by any chance? <clears throat> We're having a bit of a lonely race out the front anyway, weren't you? No racing. Closest cars are. Well, this is the battle we were part of. Oh dear, what's going to happen here? Jack's got much better tyres than Flash, much better tyres. The classic off the wall into the pit lane. That's twice we've seen it on stream. <laughs> uh, no luck, Flash, no luck. You're not alone. There's other people are doing exactly the same thing. Yeah, I, I guess it, it, if you're at the front with no, nobody around you, Kelter, it is a wee bit boring, yeah. We'll call it the Supra effect. Uh, right, I'm going to go into Jaguar for the next one. With no practice whatsoever. Let's see what it's like. Jaguar's good. Used to be good on tyre wear, to be fair. I don't know what it's like since the update. Yeah, you definitely were catching P1 flash. There you go, Samir. I didn't even see your message when you're asking me to use the F-Type. I didn't even see it. It's almost like you must have kind of told me telepathically somehow to do that. And <laughs> three seconds for cutting a pillar in entry. <laughs> right, folks, I'm going to go get some juice before this one gets underway. Right, who's in? TSL's back, Flash is in, Bembo's in, BMW, Ram Old Boy, I've had some problems with Ram Old Boy, he's quite, a, quite a, not like in a bad way, well in a bad way, he's quite aggressive, but uh, yeah, he's uh, he's not the nicest person to race, is Mr Ram Old Boy, I would say that much. Redato, welcome to the stream, good to see you. No worries, Steve. -o. Enjoy the livery making. Watkins, a great track, but GR so the bus stop, which makes you lose loads when overtaking and a lack of strategy. It's, yeah, it was definitely a better race when we did it last time with the soft and mediums and the back strategy in there as well. I would say fusion.
Right, but they really qualify for the next one. I keep saying that, don't I? That I'm going to qualify, then do something else. They haven't really qualifying for the next one. It does indeed, BTR. Definitely Iron Brute. Of course. The Jaguar doesn't look very good in a straight line anymore. Why you make an apex? There's no acceleration, this has it. No acceleration. These cars, they just pop off and disappear. Surprised actually. <laughs> Still look pretty good top end, but they're definitely struggling in acceleration zones. He's gone. Alex, how you doing, mate? Less than 500 brake horsepower on the BOP. give it a few laps anyway. I always say you should never judge a car too quickly. Oh, wow. Did I get hit there? Surely I got... I must have got hit there. Oh, the car just did the most weird thing ever. Something hit the back of my car there. Check that back and see if I get hit into that corner because the car reacted like it had been smacked in the rear quarter barrel. That was bizarre.
Nobody was there, honestly. I didn't think anybody was Arkies because I looked at the radar before I went into the corner and but the car just reacted like it just took a big bunt in the rear end. Strange. Let's see what it does this time. I'm trying to go, I'm going as fast as I can, Samia. I know it does, it has a very weird uh, a very weird like understeer that goes into the oversteer moment in that corner. Weird. Techno, how you doing? Heat as well, how you doing? Morning to you folks. Person facing the wrong way, it's out. Well, that's a vet, that, this Jaguar's got some weird characteristics. It gets like snap understeer, which is a bit of a weird thing to say, but... The car just feels like it's okay in the corner, then all of a sudden, the front end just snaps out into understeer. It feels like you're getting hit by something.
It's actually similar to what the FT1 used to do. Before the update, the FT1 doesn't do it anymore. The tie does look good, I'll say hi, I would agree with that. It's a bit of a twinkle toes. Not a lot of good when you're giving up the best part of a second a lap though, just on pace alone. There. Takes the pressure off behind me, I suppose. Still be able to get a top 10 once the tie wear kicks in for the drivers in front, you never know. Oh, oh Flash is <laughs> Flash has had another excursion. He never quits, how you doing? Because your car was going too fast on the straight flash. I don't have that problem, my car's so slow. I don't get any understeer up the hill. this thing is. This one being over, this is just boring, I can't do anything.
to the campaign, I mean, except Bloody Rust, yeah. Well, game's keen to me for a change. Not a lot of fun to drive. Hi, hey, good four jack. This one's definitely not a beast take no. <laughs> this one needs about twenty more horsepower. Terrible through fast corners. Buddy boy, how you doing? I know you may have been for a while, Buddy, but I've not actually seen your name, so welcome. Such a nose poker out. There's no wonder you're involved in so many accidents. Honest effect, man. Chill out. You have to be semi alongside the car to go for the overtake. You wonder why I'm not defending it? Because I don't expect any of any kind of racecraft to go for that move. Because it's not on. Super is the reason you've not raced this combo. Yeah, it's kind of, I think it has ruined it a wee bit, hasn't it? There'll be some light drama here between these three, what do we reckon?
you doing, Iron Man? Nice to see you. What, racecraft heat? Is that what you're saying? Never heard of that term before. <laughs> from anyone, a late wall collision. Nope. We can see P7 at least. 99 people in the house. We're nearly at 100 like, yeah, over 100 likes as well. Thank you very much folks for hitting that like button. No, I nose poker, you've never heard me say nose poker, I, that's, uh, <laughs> I used to say it quite a lot, heat, I don't say it as much now. There we go, over a hundred people watching, thanks folks, thank you very much for being in the stream, in the chat, lurking away, in the background. Super appreciated, it's a long, long time since I've had over a hundred people on stream, so, very nice to see. Starat, how you doing? Good to see you. Can we have nose poker as the main term now? <laughs> There's actually an emoji. Only if anyone's a member, I think it's a... a yeah, I think... Yeah, I think you've got to be a member to use it. The nose poker emoji, as Tonic has brought out, and Steve Board as well. So that car was just too slow. Bembo got my P7, so he did. It was P8, we could see, we couldn't see Bembo. TSL brings the win home, he'll be happier, he's under a sub win, uh, 2130. Yeah, so, we can rule the Jag out as using that anymore. Toledo, I was in your recommended YouTube feed. Nice to hear, mate. Thank you very much. Nice to hear. Nice to hear that YouTube's given me a little bit of... A little bit of, uh, Promotion, I guess. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Well done to TSL. Picking the victory up. Yeah, go and qualify. Good idea. Dorky, good idea. Eh, uh, yeah, we'll just... We'll, we'll use the GTR and the BMW and the Supra in the next stream. We'll, we'll stay away from those cars at the moment. He recommends the Beetle, does he? Welcome back to the stream. Uh, well, welcome to the stream for the second time, Nay. I seen your message before we went live, so I know you had some work stuff to do, but nice to see you in the chat now. I've not tried the 650S yet, I've heard it feels pretty good though. Techno, I've seen a lot of that actually. I do need to do this first. Worst turn one in history, but we'll roll with it. We'll even fifth gear. We're making it 300, we'll take some risks. There's an ego, I think.
rumble on the floor to at some point. No, oh, I'm gonna mess the last corner. Not gonna be very good, is it? Maybe a 46, 46, 7. Right, hey, we'll take that in. In fact, do you know what? I'm, is there anybody? I'm, I'm going to just park up and then wait till the race starts because I've had a, a weird bug when I go into the. See, so you go into the screen after you do some time trial and then you get the. It tells you all your laps and your sector times. I've, it's bugged out from you there a couple of times and I've been stuck. Wally Pie, how you doing? Yeah, Logitech G Pro, never quit. Logitech G Pro. Corvette might be better than the Jag. I think the, the, the Corvette looked okay Jag and Trail after the update, to be fair. Hey, Deck, how you doing, mate? It's been a while. It's been a while, Deck. I hope you're good, mate. I hope you're good. Right, before I've got to do it, quickly just check on a quick phone call before this one goes. Before this one goes uh, to the start, I just need to do this. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. I was just saying hello to uh, the Marquee Player Network. Welcome to the stream. We'll try not to have too much uh, Ranger Celtic talk, though, Marquee. It can be a sore subject. Cheers for that, Alex, because I definitely had noticed. I've got it, Arkies, I've got it, mate. I'm definitely good. Fight
take it you can hear me now. The mic is on. I still get people saying turn the mic on. Comedians, a lot of you, these are comedians. You think they're comedians? We've got a car to keep up with other ones in the street this time. Oh, experience at lip reading. Something's gone. It's out again. It's crashed, doesn't it? Oh, he says as he gets an oversteer moment. Crashes himself. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Calster's actually mind reading. See where you while you're there, Calster. Uh, fire some of those uh, those skills into my mind, you know, and I'll try and use them. Scrappy few corners. Doing Red Rover. Yeah, I think it'd be a better race with multiple tyre compounds and a bit of strategy because you do get a bit stuck. Look at the stream though. Coming up from the back, but the ramster was in this one. What's surprising me about this race is just the comparative lack of mistakes from people, like proper mistakes, Bennett and stuff. I thought there'd be a lot more of that. Might have to at some point there. Eh? 
So all the aliens that do the nose poke and us, uh, us average A plus drivers, we're all civilised with each other. I mean, I could go a second a lap faster here. Certainly seven temps. Easily. But we're just, uh, we're basically stuck going the pace of the car in front. Yeah, maybe a WRX. I don't know. I think it's a GTR, I think it's a GTR. Dave, another five gifted memberships. Dave, Dave. Whoa, hey. That was close. Cheers, Dave. You put me off there, but thank you very much for the another five gifted memberships. Too kind. I blame you anyway for putting me off. Wasn't driver error at all. He was in the Lexus, you go, so he was. He was in the Lexus. It's like the McLaren's get damaged. Gonna help me as well. Day from Ramster. Immediately half a second quicker. on the grass there, I had to correct the steering. Hamster's on the wall. Nah, I didn't do a lap anywhere near as fast as that in the Jaguar. That's the first lap I've been able to do soon here with uh, a little bit of not being compromised too much, so...
Ja. God, the understeer today is definitely worse than yesterday. So much understeer at the moment. This race was definitely more interesting yesterday. It's been pretty boring today at times, hasn't it? Make it exciting for myself by getting massive oversteer for the chicane. He's a few weeks bad. And I'm still defending from that super up there. Cut the corner. Of course, right onto the track in front of me with ducky tyres. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you had to give me a little bit of room to work with there. We did a. Uh, I'm going to say the classic, he turned into me. Because he did.
any tips on tyre saving? The biggest thing that saves your tyres is minimising steering input. So, what you'll see with a lot of people who do, who burn out front tyres, is they put in way too much steering lock into the corners, much more than necessary. So they'll go into the corner too fast and then try and compensate for that by putting too much steering lock on and you're just scrubbing the front tyres. Sorry, uh, German driver behind me in the McLaren. Probably cost your position there, but happens to me all the time. People in OP cars. Can you speak to this? Do we fight this? What do you reckon? Come on, you had dirty tyres and you made no effort to get into the apex of the corner, old boy. You made no attempt to get into the apex of the corner and just drove into me. He knew he had dirty tyres and he made no attempt to go into the apex, so... Poor driving, poor, poor driving. No big deal. I drove quite aggressively in that one as well, so these things happen, but it was poor driving. Yeah, Vanilla Shake, how you doing welcome to the stream? The the 650S is so good on tires, it's really good at the end of the race. <laughs> Speed bump, yeah, we lost a lot of time. Yeah, don't crash. TSL with the win. Heat with P2, Flash P4, Harley P5. Ah, it's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame. It was just really bad driving from old boy. Very bad driving. But we'll remember that. We won't be nice to him next time. We won't be nice to him. Eh, uh, right.
Who knows why the barrier penalties are? I think it's just a mistake. The uh, the settings for the qualifying barrier penalties are slightly different, so maybe when they change it to that, the default one's a five second five second penalty. And they've, they've not really realised that at the time, and it's just been left in. But yeah, it's a pain, isn't it? Definitely a pain. Where's the Supra? I think it's, I think it's this guy. Let's see if this is my fault, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think, I think he just... I knew he had dirty tires, so I was going to go down the inside. Yeah, look, look how early he's turned in there. So he's, he's went for the apex, you know. When my car's along, well, it's a little bit alongside him. It's not brilliant, but... Hmm. It's not brilliant, but I think he's kind of... He has to expect that move's coming at that point with his dirty tyres and... You know, he had to kind of try and leave me a bit of, a bit of car, you know, for my car to go into here. So, we'll call it a 50-50, he came off worse. Obviously. Look at him just a, look at the point of contact. I mean I've given him I've given him enough space for two cars to go down the, the inside of the corner and he's just understeered into me. Yeah. Ah well you win some, you lose some. Not far enough alongside. Maybe techno, maybe, maybe. But he had dirty tyres though, so that's why I kind of went for the move. Eh, uh, right, let's... Bloody, I'm fed up getting hammered by OP cars, let's try something good. Let's try something good. See if it makes any difference. Jim Lancer, welcome to the stream. Welcome along, anybody new as well. The first time I've driven this car, so it is. See what it's like. Uh, Jim, the wheel that I'm using is a Logitech G Pro. It's very nice indeed. Yeah, definitely MCA. You're, you're always taking a risk any time you go round the outside. Always taking a risk. You're putting a lot of faith in the other driver, so you are. Uh, when you go round the outside of another driver, so if it goes wrong, you kind of have to, you kind of have to hold your hands up a little bit, I guess. <laughs> what did he say? Yeah, Marky, honestly. We can't have that kind of chat. Can't 
Can't have that kind of talk in the chat, I'm afraid. Hey, Dexon. Heat Carhow Harley Flash. We've got Ramster from the back again. Boomers in. Get my way. To be fair, in the first move, I never really got a chance to kind of, I mean, I've, I never really got a chance to get alongside them before he just turned in on me, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, so, yeah, remember, remember, we're all racing drivers, we're never wrong, whatever I say, whatever I say is going to be right, because I'm the one doing the driving, and I'm a racing driver, virtually, virtual race driver. And we're all perfect, and we never make mistakes, and if we do, it's quite clearly somebody else's fault. The car's fault, the track's fault, the weather's fault, <coughs> the pit crew's fault, the crowd's fault, the chat's fault, the cloud's fault. It's got to, it's got to be somebody else, and something else's fault other than mine. Well, what's going on here? We're, we're in fast forward. What is going on here? Oh, what's going on? Yeah, uh, well, one of the weirder starts. That was a, an odd uh, rolling start there, wasn't it? It's, ne <laughs> it's never me, it's the other guy. Exactly, speed bump. The most important one to remember is if I dive you from if I dive you from three times behind, you turn down on me. If you dive me from three times behind, then you're a dive bomber. I mean that's goes without saying. Right, let's uh, let's concentrate on this one. Let's see what this car can do. That was a bit of a weird one, wasn't it? See you later, TSL. Oh, there's an opportunity to do a crazy fast uh, finishing time here because everything was in fast forward. Because uh, look at the fastest lap. <laughs> He's done a 134.5 in the first lap. What's going on? Keep me the fastest lap of the week. How you doing?
going. <clears throat> Doesn't like those inside curves, I'll say that much. Now, a lot of people are saying they have been using the RCZ J, I think it's pretty decent. What was the same? My jumping was maybe one of the fastest cars and just go the same speed as every other car. Entailing schools out the X racing during the week. The joys have been stuck behind a Supra. And this thing passed the Supra in the street. Pack hat, can you do? See if we can follow RAM stuff through on this uh, Supra. position now because of that. How are you doing mate? It's been a long time, hope you're well. Still enjoying the old eye racing. That could be a pain, I'd probably deserve one if I got it.
Right, they two are battling for a while. John, how you doing? to <clears throat> I bet we got a sniff of an opportunity in the super you have to take it don't you Your chance just takes us on this street anyway. We nailed it though, we nailed it. Right, let's see what sort of lap times we can do in this then. Yeah, good track Lars, definitely a good track. G Brothers as well, how you doing? Yeah, there was a glitch start, as Dave says, uh, Cam. So the, the race was strangely, weirdly spread out. Three seconds. I can see why people like this car though. There's just no dramas with it really is there. Throttle nice and early as well. Good 
good old worn tires. Still doing 47 twos and lap nine. They got bottom draft in that one though. Yeah, he needs to screenshot that fastest lap of the week easily. <laughs> and McLaren's good as well though. Anytime we see one, they're quite good. Oh, did you, John? Cracking wheel, so it is. Cracking wheel, or cracking rim. No, it was a glitch start, Lars. Something went a bit haywire at the start, and uh, the fastest lap is uh, definitely not right. I've never been struggling against these bloody GTRs at the end of the race. It's like it has no tyre wear, I mean it has tyre wear but... You don't, you don't feel any great loss in grip. doing easy 47s on the 11th flat. I think we kept it on the curb there. I can still hear a bit of rumbling. Deck's definitely improved his tyre wear and that's, you know, because Deck used to be quite heavy on the tyres from what I used to see. So to... Given the freebies. A wild last lap. <laughs> what? It's a bit harsh, isn't it?
Ooh, ten seconds for the Rusky. There was a freebie at the end. It did seem a bit harsh, didn't it, Cam? Definitely seemed a bit harsh. Well, now I understand why people are driving that car. Now I understand. That snap out of the bus stop, is that a new, I don't know if it's new since the update demo, but it's definitely, you, you get it in most cars. You definitely get it in a lot of cars. <laughs> 21, 20 race time, you're screenshotting that. No, what you want to do, just, just screenshot Dex time and then just show the aliens going, you think you're fast, you're not Dex fast. <laughs> Do you think I fixed your tyres forever? Did you follow what I was saying earlier on? Clay Mitt, how you doing? Nice to see you. Yes. Deck, honestly, that's the fastest race time of the week. Nobody's going to beat that. There they are. Nobody's going to beat that. Look at that. Deck, Heat, Flash, Harley, top four. Car Harley P6. Ram start. Quit. Yeah, we tried the Jaguar er earlier on, claim it. It's a... Uh it's not that fast. It's, it struggles with acceleration, so it does. So we were struggling a wee bit in the Jaguar. We're definitely struggling. Yeah, that start. It was like it was in some kind of fast forward, wasn't it? Yes, Jack very well represented in the race. Jack very well represented. Right, I want to do another one with a proper start in this car just to see what we can do. Uh, that's if this says what I hope it says. Yep, so we could do, I could do more than one more, but we'll definitely do one more. Let's go again. I do need to go to the toilet and spray some deodorant. No, I'm, a, I'm sweating and a little bit smelly, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Happy to get the fastest lap. Yeah, I noticed, Dick, that you were, uh, I noticed you were ghosted at the beginning, so I did. I'll be back in a wee minute, folks, I'm just going to get a top up of juice into the toilet.
You've been ghosted nearly every race this week for some reason at the start. Mm. Don't know what's going on then. 45-2, John. I'll have a much faster than anything I'll manage to do it. Uh, no, I haven't seen Harley in chat, Flash. Uh, he does sometimes come in. He used to be, used to come in quite a lot, but he's not he doesn't come in quite as much now. Just managed to spill that down me. Oh watch up. Okay, for quality, have a few minutes of being top of the leader before you get banned. So you had to watch a race in spectator mode. That's a bit of a, a weird one. John's up in pole position, Deck's having trouble loading into the race, Heat's back, Carhal's back, Harley's back, flash that hope. Deck's been ejected for being too fast, Calster's in at the back. So flash Harley, Carhal, Heat and John. Impressive qualifying time John, impressive qualifying time. Uh, after the race, go back, laugh and check that. I'm not sure whether I uh, saved the replay flash, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if I saved the replay. Hey, good luck everyone. 140 likes by the way, thank you very much for all the likes folks. Ah, so it was the steer, yeah, honestly, see if you're in a corner, see, except for maybe a hairpin, but see if you've got more than 90 degrees lock on in a corner, you're, you're going too fast in the corner. If you want to, that's how, that's how you save your tyres, it's honestly the biggest thing that will save you tyres. I mean, I can't really help you on a pad, but if you're on a wheel, because I see people going into corners and all like that, going through the corner, and they're, all they're doing is killing tyres. Boomers super in front of me again. Steady in there, buddy. Cause a wee bit of chaos, my friend. Chris, how you doing? Yeah, I'm glad very good tyres. Constantina. Calster in the 4 GT. Now rear tyres are going to look like at the end of this. So 
I think I've got the two fast boys behind me now. You're in the Matrix deck, are you? No worries, Keefsky. I don't know if that was me by the way. There was like a tiny little bit of contact. But it was like right on bumper to bumper. I think it just got on the throttle and spun it. I think. I think it just had dirty tyres and got on the throttle too early and spun it. If not. So one behind me. All aboard the boomer train, eh? We've been on this train before today. for impact there, I thought it was in the barrier. If you look back you'll see me flinch there. <laughs> we must have been, as we say in Scotland, a ball here away from that. problem was there. This boomer's going so slow through the corner. You end up kind of such slow in the rev range that you spin the wheels up. That's a little veil guy, wasn't he? You reckon he did it himself, Demo? I hope so. I wouldn't like to be guilty of taking Harley out. Yeah, Ford GT go! Losers! Not very fast through here to be fair, but it's quicker a straight line. <laughs>
Why? I sometimes wish I was in Bloomin' Second Splat a bit more often. Too competitive up here. One of the sort of great things about Gran Turismo is that no matter what time you come on at, you can always get a competitive race, isn't it? Well, for most of us. If you're an alien, then maybe not, but... All aboard the boomer train. Yeah, nearly 150 likes. I have to start playing at midnight so I can get a bit of like a P7. <laughs> Fair play to Boomer, he's just doing what he's got to do, isn't he? At apexes and then rely on his car's straight line speed, you know. That's what you do. The driving from everyone there. Awkward situation. I think I'd pay me for that, surely. I certainly would. He's starting to lose his rear tyres on that RSO one. Over there, this guy.
Calcer might be in the one car that can defend from that, eh, <laughs> that super down the street. It's been an awful lap as well, my, my blue. Eight laps completed, we're ten seconds off the leader with P10. They were it's so slow on the apex there. We're getting a bit messy up ahead, isn't it? in there Neil, good to see you. selling out this is going to blow right back past you and that's it probably <laughs> Spiner's getting a little bit silly.
Yeah, I'll, take, uh, I'll save the replay of Fusion. There's Luke Cows to be on the pad. Oh, boy, you're going so slow for these cars, buddy. <laughs> I've been a little bit too slow, to be fair. I mean, he's going so slow through the car, I broke so early there. Boomer. Me getting Boomer just became a little bit too much of a roadblock there in this race. Driving. Yeah, possibly, yeah, but I mean, uh, it was just, it was just getting too hard to drive behind them, I'm afraid, you know, you got to kind of rely on people to kind of break it, a sort of point where you're expecting, but he was going, oh, he was breaking very, very early into the corners at the end of the race there. No harm done, no, no harm done. Hey, what he's talking about, what he's talking about. Hey, Carl, how you doing? You and Kelster have a wee, uh, wee coming together. Yeah, get, go out my way saying the same thing, standing in the corner. Kelster got up to P5, so he did... John didn't bring the win home. Flash and P3. It was a stressful one for us, Flash, back here, so it was. It was a stressful one.
Right. That's your speed going through the corner, says Neil. <laughs> Let's take a wee look at what happened in this one. Let's see if we murdered Harley. That's that's the first thing we'll look at. So we definitely had a bit of an interesting moment. Up here. Oh interesting moment because somebody punted them off. GT Sweetheart with the magnificent move. How not to do an overtake, folks? Take note. That's uh, awful driving. <laughs> That's awful. So Harley was all over the place because of that. Comes back on the track. Tires are knackered. We're here. These two go to the inside. I go to try and go round the outside. Boomer makes a wee back on. Harley kind of understeers wide. It's a tiny little bit of contact from me there, but I can't tell. Mm. It's so hard to tell whether that was anything to do with me or whether that was just getting on the throttle. Apologies to Harley if it was my fault. Very hard to tell though. Right, let's uh, let's go to the end of the race. So yeah, I mean his tyres are knackered. Where did I break into this corner? That's what I'm kind of interested in. So I'm on the brakes. I'm on well before the 200 board. I'm on the brakes. So we've not broke too late. I've also got to... I can't break too early because I've got this guy behind me. But Boomer's kind of... Anyway... There's no harm done, we gave, the, we gave the place back up here anyway. Yeah. These tyres are absolutely... For want of a better word. He's got an anime livery as well, you know, that's no help in his cause. <laughs> every, every assist in the book on as well. Wow, look at Calster's tyres! That's impressive. Is that car really light or something? It must be dead light. What happened up here anyway? Calfster's tyres are amazing for a pad player. Oops! <laughs> Where you go, Carl? <laughs> you must, must have been looking behind them. You must have been last. Oh shit, there's a corner there. Half tires are not looking too good. What happened to you, Heat? Let's find Heat. Where are you?
Oops. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> instant quit. Instant quit. See you later, take note. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, do you think it was just the, the Turbo and the M6 fusion? I think so as well. I don't think the way we kind of made the contact would be enough to spin them. But, eh. Uh, well, I can't believe Calvester's tyres. I can't believe his tyres. It's a similar weight to the GTR. Wow. Might have to give that 4 GT a try myself just to, to see what it's like. Could just be that driver though. Could just be that driver though in the RSO one. I didn't, even know. I didn't really see what his tyres were like. Oh, I didn't realise that's who that was. Yeah, he's destroyed that rear tyre though, hasn't he? He's proper destroyed it, compared to the McLaren. Yeah, be sure to break a lot. I know the speed of it, Calster, was uh, quite impressive. But no, that's uh, that tyre management's pretty, pretty special. Anyways, folks, I think we're going to wrap it up there. We are going to wrap it up there. Thank you very much for your company in this one. It's been a good fun stream. I've enjoyed it a lot. Uh, didn't really get any particularly good results, but it's so competitive out there. So competitive for a driver of my my kind of rating that you're all here. Honestly, see if you're kind of low A plus, like at 50 to 60. It's so competitive. A top six feels like a win sometimes. Yeah, but we had some good racing nonetheless, used some different cars. Thank you for everybody that came in and raced with me as well. Uh, there was loads of you that came in. Thank you, Dead Dave, for 10 gifted memberships. Absolute crazy person that he is. So anybody that got a gifted membership was probably from Dead Dave. Keefski also gifted a membership as well. Uh, I think it was... Oh, I can't remember who got it. Hugo? Did Hugo get that one? No, don't think it was. I can't remember. Uh, Timmy Timmy, I don't think he's here anymore, but he obviously... Uh, donated as well but yeah it's been a great stream as always you guys make it all the better in the chat with the banter just chatting away I can't even keep up with his at all uh, can't even get remotely close to keeping up with his but uh, but yeah it's been a good one I have got a couple of night shifts to do tonight and tomorrow so I'll be back on Friday with some more daily racing uh, I'll put in a half decent qualifying time and use some OP cars for that one uh, and yeah, Fusion, I probably will be streaming over the weekend. It's been a few weeks since we did the uh, open lobby, so I'll definitely try and get them done on Sunday. So I will. Uh, I'm not sure about the Nations. I think I'm away on Saturday. I'm heading down to see my mum on Saturday, so I don't think I'll be doing the Nations race. How doing there, Yuri? Welcome to the stream. David Aim as well. I see you popping in there saying thank you. But no. Thank you guys, enjoy the rest of the day, enjoy the day of the racing, catch you on the next one, should you buy it out?